This time I'm going to create a meeting in Resource Central that it requires a services order and I'm going to do that all at the same time at the point of booking. Uh, all the workflow will be automatically associated to that um, service request. So let's have a, a lunchtime meeting Friday the 17th. I'm going to invite some people to it. And I'm going to do it as a Teams meeting as well because someone might be logging in uh, from home. Again, I can set this as a recurring meeting. I can go to my resource finder so I can find myself a room. Now, I know that I want my meeting to be at Channel Court and I want, I'd like it to be on the second floor. <clears throat> and I know that I also need to have a meeting that's got a smart board in it. So this will remove any resource which doesn't fit the attributes that I need for my meeting. I can look at my attendees availability on that day to make sure they're free for the meeting time as well. Yep, they're both available, that's great. Um, so the uh, Jupiter room looks pretty good for my meeting. We can look at any details about that room or perhaps the Neptune room. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Um, and I can go to an order form. Oh, it's asking me to click on the resource first, which I'll do. So I'll go to the order form, and this will be an order form which is specific to a particular room. Now, on this occasion, I'm actually a PA, and I'm Emma, and I'm actually booking it in Lucas's diary. So that allows me to be booked as a PA, to book a meeting in someone else's diary, um, but make sure that I receive any notifications or email um, related to that meeting to keep it out of Lucas's uh, diary. So I, I can set myself as an assistant organiser to that meeting so I can manage all the catering requests and things like that. So we're going to ask for a catering request because it's lunchtime, it's allowing us to pick from lunch options. If the meeting was at four o'clock in the afternoon, the lunch options wouldn't be there. Um, we, so we're going to have some sandwiches and uh, tea and coffee. We'll have four of those. Um, we can see visitors, we want these people, these people coming in from external, so we want reception to know that they're coming in. Uh, there's another visitor management console in the back end which will give reception a view of who those people are and what time they're due in. Uh, we're going to give this a cost code. I mentioned that someone's actually got a specific dietary requirement, nut allergy. Um, we also want some other things for this meter and so I want a flip chart. So we have a pool of those and can someone please bring a flip chart for this meeting and I want someone to generate a Wi-Fi code as well. Anything you want really can go in these forms. And once I've finished the form, I save and close it. And I'm back at my other meeting rotation. I send it, I get a notification um, back from Office 365, and I'll also get a notification of the order that I've just created. Um, there's my notification from Office 365. And in a second or two, my order will come through. There it is. So I can review everything that I've asked for on there. It doesn't, if I've made an error, I can go straight back in to the order form to amend my mistake. 